the events of the 24th of February uh, changed Europe completely and it has massive implications, of course, for European security and defence policy, but also for Ireland's uh, security and defence policy. So here are my thoughts. First of all, I think the triple lock system is no longer fit for purpose. I don't see any circumstances in which it is any longer justified that Russia and China would have a veto over foreign policy decisions taken in Ireland. And that must end. Secondly, there are areas in which we already cooperate with the European Union, such as PESCO, Permanent Structured Cooperation, or CSDP, Common Security and Defence Policy. And we've been on many CSDP missions with the European Union very successfully over the decades. And these are areas in which we should do more. Thirdly, and the most difficult area, is uh, common defence. What happens if another EU member state is attacked? Should we come to their aid? What happens if we're attacked? Would we expect the other EU member states to come to our aid? And I believe the answer to both of those questions is yes, with two important caveats. First of all, this doesn't mean an EU army any more than there's a NATO army. Secondly, it also confines itself exclusively to the territories of the 27 EU member states and not beyond. And that brings me to my fourth point. And this is a red line for me. There are no circumstances in which we should join NATO. NATO has been guilty of adventurism far beyond the territories of its members over the last couple of decades and beyond, with extremely negative consequences across the globe, particularly in the area of irregular population movement. But of course, so many people have died as a result of these wars. Finally, this brings me to the implications for our defence forces. Now, the report on the Commission of the Commission and the Defence Forces clearly outlined the need for much greater resources into our Defence Forces. Uh, I visited the Irish peacekeepers on the Unifil mission in South Lebanon just two weeks ago, and they do an extraordinary job. But there is no doubt that we need to invest much more than 0.2% uh, of our GDP into the Defence Forces. And the one area in which we particularly need to invest is in cyber security. Uh, our military will have a role in the future to protect critical entities like the HSE, uh, and I think that's a part of the future of this debate. So this debate will take place over the next uh, weeks and months, and Ireland has a tradition of dealing with difficult public policy issues through participative democracy, whether that's a citizen's assembly, or whether it's through normal broadcasting mediums like public broadcasting, or here in social media. So it's timely to have this debate uh, and I'm happy to uh, participate in this uh, at such a very difficult time.